covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Pine 64's $200 Pro Grade Linux laptop is now available with a US keyboard, and customers who pre ordered theirs are receiving the first shipment now. Nice. The Pinebook Pro ships with a customized version of Debian pre installed. That's right. This is a true Linux laptop. It also has a few other tricks up its sleeve, like a bootable micro SD card slot so that you can easily run another operating system off a cheap memory card whenever you feel like it. Just about all laptop, all laptop computers use Intel processors these days. Only a very small percentage of Windows laptops have started using Qualcomm ARM processors. The Pinebook Pro actually uses a 64-bit ARM processor called the Rockchip RK3399 with a Mali T860 MP4 GPU, which is made by the same company that makes the Pinebook Pro, Pine Microsystems Inc. Pine also makes other computing hardware such as compute modules and single board computers that you can build into other projects. And as Robbie mentioned last week, they're even, they even bring a cheap privacy focused smartphone to market that runs Linux natively. The Pinebook Pro includes four gigabytes of RAM, which is the maximum supported by the rock chip. So it's not upgradable. By default, it also includes a 64 gigabyte EMC storage module, which you can upgrade if you want. But as Westerners, the biggest problem we had with the original Pinebook and even the first run of Pinebook Pro was the keyboard. There's just no way to get reviewers or in, end users in Canada or the US to truly love an ISO keyboard, which is a layout more familiar to users in the UK. But now, as of last week, users who pre-ordered are receiving their ANSI keyboard Pinebook Pros. ANSI is more commonly called the US keyboard layout. So for $200, Linux fans can get a solid, professional, and super sleek laptop that has keys where they expect them. So how can a Pine64 sell such a fine piece of kit for only $200? because they love you, that's why. Actually, that's not even sarcasm. The Pinebook Pro is being sold at cost as a gift to the open source loving community, so it's not technically meant for regular users. If you believe in freedom and like to tinker and learn about technology, the Pinebook Pro is meant for you. This is awesome. I said it last week with no words, but Pine64. Yeah. This is so good. I like it. Yeah. Now, when people first purchased the original Pine Books and the Pine Book Pros, did they know it was coming with the alternate keyboard, or were they expecting the a Pine US Book style? Pro? Yes, the Pine Book never did. The okay. Pine Book came with the ISO keyboard. That's what it came with. And we right. were when we reviewed it here on the show. You remember, like it was right. like I can't get my head around this thing. And for those of you who live in the UK and places where the ISO keyboard is standard, <laughs> like, what are you talking? You're like, about? this is great. This is fantastic. But no, when you're used to an American layout, it's completely different, and it seems completely whacked. I mean, <laughs> I've seen reviews online, and and I, I'm part of that where it's like I just can't get my head around the ISO keyboard layout. My keyboard is a French layout, and Robbie doesn't even oh, like it. Oh my goodness. So. Yeah, I mean, we're here in Canada, <laughs> up here in Studio T. And government, I don't know if it's legislation or what, says that things have to be French and English combined. So if you walk into a super center and buy a laptop, it's yeah. a French-English keyboard, and keys are all over the place. Yeah. And so even when I was setting it up with, with Cloud Ready, it was like I was pushing the wrong keys. Yeah. I just, uh, because. <laughs> That's how I always type, just pushing the wrong keys. <laughs> <laughs> so I've never noticed a difference in keyboard, to be honest. Maybe you've just never had to experience that. Right. But, well, I, I guess, but I mean, we're like. We're not connoisseurs of fine keyboards. Well, every keyboard I use, like, <laughs> I, I recognize that they're all going to be different, so I just roll with it. But I suppose what happens is that they don't all have to be different. And do you, that's. Do you touch that's type? Like, do you type 180 words a minute, like Robbie? Like 180? It, if it's. Are you if, a cyborg, my if friend? It's out of the, if it's out of place, I am going to push the wrong keys. 
because the keys are meant to be where my fingers are trained to know that they are. I, I could Sasha like was 60? commenting before the show. He is like magic. Before the show, I was he's doing like, this on your, what, and you're like. Yeah, he's like, what's your password? Because he needed it to get into my And life. it's like all this, like and all so characters I, mine and uppercase, is like lowercase. One of those and, suggest a strong password yeah, passwords yeah. that's like this long and, and like, it bloop has bloop. symbols that I didn't even know the name of. One yeah. of them is a tilde. Tilde. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway. Which so on a I French just, keyboard, incidentally, is in the wrong blooming place. So I just show Robbie my phone and he was just like doo -doo -doo -doo, looking at the phone yeah. just typing for a minute that's how it works right Done. on a French keyboard too yeah. so I added a slash at the end there because that's where the enter key ah. is supposed to be <laughs> so yeah knowing that now an so, ANSI keyboard is available which is the US layout exactly. I'm very excited about I that. really appreciate too that they're selling it at cost yeah. to me it feels like a big hug like it's a it's just a nice Surely. thing to know that a company cares that much and a uh, pine 64 I've always felt cares about respects and is even a part of that open source community mm -hmm. yeah and there's a mindset there's like a spirit about the open source community the true open source community not the there there's kind of two facets of it there's the the angry like if you use windows you are the devil side of open source and yeah. then there's the side that just really loves freedom and really loves community support and yes. giving help to people and becoming part of communities and becoming part of online forums and helping other people like there's that aspect and that's the aspect that i really feel pine 64 really falls into mm -hmm. and so to offer yeah something like the pine book pro which is a beautiful notebook computer in two different models now I know. for awesome. iso and ansi so they heard the call of the reviewers mm -hmm. here in canada and the u.s yes and they're offering it at cost for 200 bucks Damn, that's awesome that is what great. so for the cost of a premium chromebook you're getting a uh, uh, computer that you can just slap Linux on. It comes with Linux. Yep. It's got more power. It's got a lot of oomph. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really, really keen and excited about the Pinebook Pro. So it's well good. done, Pine64, and to the community at Pine64. I mean, we love you here at Category 5. Yes, we do. And uh, certainly appreciate the entire team. So thank you for all that you do.